Okay, so what's up guys? Uh, so today uh, I'm actually going to uh, try to see if I can do something about this kicks. So I bought um, a power, um, what is it, a power adapter? To go ahead and change it out to a switching power supply because I always hear that the power is really bad. And um, it still didn't work. Uh, it is getting power now, but um, there's, there's actually a lot, of, a lot of things that could actually be wrong with it. So uh, I've heard everything from uh, replacing things on the board uh, to these ribbon cables could possibly be bad. So there's just a lot of different things that, uh, that could be going on. But uh, I got this from Arcade Shop and it is a uh, Kicks to JAMA. So I was just gonna actually look and see. So uh, what do we have, J1 right here, and then J2, I'm assuming all of these reach. Um, that's, I think that's J2. All right, so let's, let's just do this, right? So my idea is, I'm looking actually for a zoo cue board, and that was J1. I'm looking for a zoo cue board, and I have not been able to get one, and I was gonna buy it from Arcade Shop, and I waited too long and now they are sold out and they don't sell them anymore. So now I'm kind of out of luck as far as being able to get one. I'm trying to see, it looks like this thing is actually keyed. So now, so now I wait. And in the meantime, so what I, my idea was that I was gonna use this board and then try to, um, see if I can uh, just run a 60 and one and just turn off everything else besides kicks. But I just want to see if this works uh, technically first. So we have uh, J15. And then um, see if maybe down the line, see if I can get the actual, let me see that is J15. See if I can actually get the the board working, but there's just like so many projects right now <laughs> that I just can't uh, can't really keep up. Uh, let's see J2. I think this is J2. That's actually my brother in the background yelling. Uh, he actually just had a kid, so congratulations to him. Um, they actually literally just got home, so we did some video and some photos and whatnot, and now um, they're just gonna go inside and kind of. Put him to bed, let him let him relax a little bit. He's only been in this world for a couple days. They just barely got released from the hospital. Uh, they were trying to kind of just keep him under observation. Uh, let's see, is this one keyed as well? Yeah, I'm getting there. Just trying to make sure that all of these things reach. Um, and then what do, what else do we need? That is. Let's see, is J7 the only one that's left? Okay, so there's like a jumper set here. And it depends on what you're using. Whoa, did that just like break? <laughs> that's not good. That did break. Okay, so I'm going to have to take a look at that. So it has like a jumper, so depending if you're using Zookeeper or if you are going to use, it says Cram or Kicks. So I am actually going to move the jumper over. So we're going to be using it for Kicks. And then this little thing came all apart. Let's see. I gotta figure out how do we put that back in there. It's always something, huh? <laughs> Just my luck. Okay, I wonder if I put that backwards. I guess it doesn't really matter. Just needs a good connection, right? Okay, so that's jumpered. And then it's a speaker which I'm assuming is this one down here. I'm not even gonna look because it's the only one that could, uh, technically is the right size. 
So let's just flip that around. Let's see. Okay. All right. So that's there. And now this last cable, I think it was saying was the sink for the monitor, I guess. Just kind of weird. It's odd. I think that's what he was saying. Uh, let me see. It says vertical horizontal sink. So yeah, it's the sink for the monitor. Which I'm trying to see. Um, that's gonna be interesting. I say let's first just try this out and see if it works. And then if this doesn't work, then we don't even have to worry about that. So let me grab. Uh, I'm gonna grab a. What do you call it? I grab a PCB. So I actually have a, let me see, I actually have an adapter uh, in my Miss Pac-Man over here. So I'm gonna go grab it. I need to figure out what I do with my drill. <laughs> um, yeah, give me a second. I'll be right back. I need to look for my drill. Okay, so I went and found the drill, and I found the 60-in-1. And then, um, so this is the 60-in-1, if you don't know what it is. And it has 60 games on it, it's 60 classic games, like Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Galaga, all that good stuff. But it also has kicks on it, so the idea is that we can run kicks off of here. That'll be great. Just checking, because it has the pin out. Yep, just checking to make sure that the power is on the correct side, which it is. Okay, and then I also, in the Miss Pack, I have, I actually have a dedicated Miss Pack Man PCB, but then I also have um, an adapter, and that adapter allows me to uh, plug in the Miss, uh, the 16 one into the Miss Pac Man. And then it uses, so you press start, but then it actually, like for Galaga, since Miss Pac Man doesn't have a fire button, you can use the player one start as a fire button. So, speaking of fire, let's fire this up and see if this does anything. I need to have one actual uh, win because I was doing the space duel like all day. And uh, I did a big blue on it and I did a cap. I did a, not a cap. I did um what do you call it? The, the rebuild kit for the AR2 thinking that, okay, so the big blue didn't do it, the AR2 would possibly do it, and I had nothing on it. So that was kind of disappointing. <laughs> so now I'm just hoping that I get something on, um, actually got to pull the interlock, I think. I didn't hear the monitor come on. Is the coin door? Try to figure out why I didn't hear anything. Yeah, I think the coin door interlock needs to be on. Oh, let me see. There it goes. So yeah, I switched out the power supply on this thing, and it has that modern power supply on it but I don't even know if I needed to do it because uh, I pulled uh, the interlock here in the back, but then there was like another, there was another thing in the back. What do you call it? Like, uh, I mean, I'm not in the back, in the front, in the coin door. There's like two like switches like this. One's an interlock and the other one's something else. Hey, so it looks like we have everything but sync. I think. which would be cool if that's true. Let's see. Oh, I heard something. <coughs> yep. All right, cool. So that's a partial success. And uh, let me see if I can grab this tripod real quick. I'm going to bring this around over here and you can kind of see it actually is on, but look at that. 
That's got to be sync, right, guys? So now um, I got to go look. I just ordered. I just ordered some different uh, video parts. So now I got to see if I have anything because that sync cable that's on there does not like. It does not. It's not like a standard plug. So I need to see if I can um, get it switched out. And then once I get it switched out, then I'm going to have to go into the settings and all of that and switch off all the games except for kicks. And then I'm probably going to have to buy, um, I'm probably going to have to buy another, um, another 60 and one. I was just trying to think, could I just technically go from the PCB from the 60 and one? No, uh, I guess not, right? Yeah, that wouldn't make any sense. See, it only has VGA out. It's running through the JAMA. I think I was getting this and the video converter board mixed up. Okay, so let me go see what I can do and see if I can find um, find some different plugs or whatever to try to try to make a connector for this thing. So that way we can get that sync working. If we get the sync working, then um, at least it'll be a start as far as... Uh, Getting this kick's like somewhat working until we get a ZooQ. But man, that's progress right there. That's pretty cool. I like it. The other thing that I noticed that was kind of weird is that I pressed the start, the player one start, and it did nothing. Unless it's backwards. Kind of like how Space Duel, Space Duel's kind of backwards. All right, so let me go look and see what I have, and let's see if we can get this sync um, hooked up. All right, be right back. Okay, so it's another summer Friday. And uh, I had recapped this uh, G07 um, chassis here, but um, I was trying to adjust the width coil and look what happened. So I'm gonna have to get uh, another width coil and actually uh, fix that part, unfortunately. But I did get another G07 uh, chassis that I bought on cloth. And I got that installed yesterday, so that's all good to go. Um, I also got this as these planes fly over. Oh. Cool jets. But uh, I got this test pattern generator, so that way I could actually just hook it up to some games. And I tried using it on kicks, and I realized um, that um, the one of the sinks were not hooked up. I don't know which one. I wasn't really paying attention. I was super excited to get it, and I didn't pay attention to the way it was wired. So I just kind of am just needing to crimp in a new um, a new little sink wire. And this is just like some extra cable that I had laying around. And I'm just trimming off the... There's like the... What do you call it? The, the little edges there so I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if we can uh, use this on kicks I actually debated whether to plug it into that new monitor that I got just to eliminate any possibilities and I'm also being like super cheap and lazy so this like came out and I just kind of pushed it in uh, so let's see. Let's see if we can get that pushed in. There we go, that's locked in. Let's do this side. My goal is um, to actually get the, the monitor producing a, a good... Uh, a pattern so we can eliminate because right now what I have is I have a 60 in one with the JAMA adapter going into kicks and it it's having like some kind of sync issue so I'm hoping that we can get this test pattern generator thing going and if we get that if we get this working then at least then we can kind of eliminate where the problem is and figure out how the sync is supposed to be uh, let's see let's put it here and I'm putting the one with the broken in on this side. Oh, actually, no, I did it the other way, didn't I? I sure did. Okay, so I need to flip these around. Let me flip 
flip these around real quick. Listen to all that nature. It sounds like Jurassic Park out here. <laughs> and it's actually not uh, too hot. It's actually been okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this side over here because I can kind of monitor this little cable that's falling out. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, it's just this little, see this came undone. I just didn't want to have to recrimp a new one in. I don't have a pin puller, so hopefully there's enough wire there. All right, this is probably gonna cause my issues that I'm having or it's gonna add to it. All right, so if you've never used one of these before, which I've never used one, uh, it has uh, two different resolution settings. So you have an on and off switch, you have a standard res, and you have a medium res. We're going to put it on standard res. And then you can test your different colors. So you have red, green, and blue. And then you can also invert your video signal. And it also has a, a monitor, I mean, a, a menu where you can go through different test patterns and whatnot. And then these last ones have to do with the sync. So this is kind of what we're gonna play around with and uh, see if we can figure it out and see if we can figure out what's going on with that, that kicks monitor. Um, you know, when I got it, it was broken and the monitor seems like it works. So uh, I'm gonna go with it's working and I'm just not hooking up something correctly with the sync. So let's get over there and let's take a look at it and let's see if we can plug it in. So let's see if we can figure it out, figure out the sync issue. Okay, so we've got the game opened up and let's plug this in. And you can see it is a G07. And what we're gonna do is get this plugged in here. We're just plugging this into the monitor video input. Just like that. So this is the part I'm having trouble with. There's three inputs on the Geo 7. I don't know. We're gonna have to try one and then I should just be up. Try looking at my other chassis. <laughs> it didn't say. And I should look this up, but being super lazy and just wanting to experiment and learn. All right, guys, so we gotta get this connected back in and hopefully this isn't gonna cause any issues. All right, so we got it on standard res. And right now, what do we have? We have positive Horizontal, it looks like. So let's try it out. I think all we have to do is flip the TPG on and off, and it'll change the settings when we flip a dip. So let's turn this thing on. And can at least get power to the monitor. And then we can kind of go from there. So you have to pull the interlock, all right. Doesn't sound like anything came on. What am I doing wrong? Oh, uh, what did I flip off? <laughs> oh, it's probably the coin door that's open. Yep, coin door. So there's an interlock on the coin door. So if you flip that on, then the game actually comes on. And so let's flip on. Oh shoot, that was almost bad. A rookie mistake letting it hang there. All right, 
need to put this somewhere where I can make a good connection. And it's not gonna fly off. Oh, let's see. Just kind of stick it there for right now. So let me see what the monitor's doing. See if it's doing anything. Okay, so it is having that sink issue. Yeah, let me see if I can show you what I mean by that sink issue. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave that there. I'm actually just gonna pull this off. So there's the sink issue. So we need to figure out what that is, what's going on there, and why. So, let's uh, try messing with these switches here. So I'm just gonna turn it off. And right now, it says, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So dip switch six, so I'm gonna flip that on. And then I'm gonna flip this back on. Let's see if we have any difference, which I don't think we do. We don't. And you can kind of see that the Crafty Mech menu is kind of about to pop up, but it's just not, um, it's not working. So let's uh, hit, you know what? I bet you anything it's because he didn't put the, whoever I bought this from, didn't put the, what do you call it? The, positive sink and I bet you that's why it's going off now that I look at it because right now this is actually um, negative sink so I don't think this is ever going to work the way this thing is wired up it doesn't have the right it doesn't have the right sink cables connected hmm so maybe I do have to go back in and <laughs> Repin the whole freaking thing. Just the video connector here. Because what he said is to do a four pin and then to do a two pin, right? Which I could do, but since this is a four, I mean, since this is a five, no, six. Since this is a six, I can't necessarily move this over here to do the positive. Do you see what I'm saying? So as a result, I'm actually going to have to um, redo that connector on this side. I need to do a four pin connector. Uh, so let me go work on that and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I had to take care of a paper wasp issue that we were having here. Uh, there was uh, some little wasp flying around and they kept uh, getting a little too close. So I had to kind of take them out. And then I went ahead and repinned um, this so it's actually on a four pin. And this is what it says in the manual is the way to go. So it's RGB with the uh, ground. And then uh, it says to just have a separate connector for the, what do you call it? For the, what is this called? Uh, the sink. I'm, I'm trying to blank right now. Uh, I didn't sleep much. I was, I've been playing Watch Dogs. I know it's an older game, but I've been playing it. And I stayed up till like three o'clock playing it last night. And then I got up at like seven o'clock this morning. So... I'm uh, not, not rolling a whole bunch of sleep, but uh, so I also did uh, just repin this whole this whole connector so that way it's not loose. Uh, I figured, hey, you know, you got you got all the parts, you got uh, everything. Why be lazy, all right? So went ahead and did that. So now uh, let's see. So now we're just gonna connect this back in. That's the wrong way. It should be this way. Does the RGB go that way? Dang it. Can't really get to this the right way. Let me um, just unplug this side. 
All right, give me a second. Let me get this plugged in. All right, so I got the video cable connected and it still wasn't uh, syncing properly. And sorry, uh, we're having the AC uh, repair come out uh, to look at my mom's house. Uh, she lives right next door. And uh, I was toggling on um, the horizontal, but I noticed that the vertical wasn't on. So now we got everything connected and we got the Crafting Mag TPG connected. And once I cl clicked on the vertical sync, uh, check this out. And I should have taken it off the tripod. Look at that. Success. So it looks good and the monitor actually looks really, really nice. It's just dirty, but it looks really, really good. So now uh, we kind of have an idea of like how the wiring goes for, uh, for this monitor. And I'm gonna see if I can get that JAMA card connected. Uh, it's, a, it's a JAMA adapter and it has a, a vertical horizontal sync on the, on the, what do you call it? On the little auxiliary card. So now that we got that, I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and get it um, synced up hopefully. And uh, maybe uh, we can actually get uh, kicks running off of the 60 in one for right now, but we're gonna be on the lookout for a zoo queue and uh, we'll get this all working. So uh, let me look at the connector and whatnot and see if we can just kind of test one out and see if we can get it to work.